How y'all doing? Got another Bud K unboxing. Uh, mainly I purchased these items just to complete part of my collection with the uh, M48 Apocalypse series. And uh, because they had a new uh, item, which was the uh, tire thumper. Um, so first off, we had this M48 uh, Apocalypse Karambit. Again, just to complete my collection, um, I wasn't really impressed with some of their previous karambits, mainly the handles, um, but we'll see how this one turns out. So just want to see how this one feels in the hand and does seem to feel uh, a little bit better than I remember um, since it is in the same style as the previous one. It has the finger grooves right here and uh, when you hold it, it does feel fairly nice in the hand. Uh, it is fairly sharp there. Uh, that's nice. Um, I have to say though, when I flip it around and hold it from the back, that that is very uncomfortable. And I think that's what I, if I remember, that's what I didn't like about the previous one that I had. So the way it's molded, your fingers want to go across the ridges that are in the handle and that is not comfortable at all and with a karambit you generally would hold the knife in that direction so uh, not the best design in my opinion and here you can see there's a little bit of uh, molding issues with the handle uh, it's not quite right up against the blade like it should be so next up we have the uh, sheath and uh, we're going to see how this actually goes how the knife actually goes into the sheath and how it holds. Um, it looks like the little finger groove that's supposed to kind of lock it in place does not really line up with the finger groove on the knife and uh, I think that's just probably a poor design. Um, although it does seem to hold it into the knife, it's not really going exactly where it, it, where it should be. It doesn't line up properly. Um, also has the, uh, the stretchy uh, kind of elastic on one side then it goes over your shoulder and the other side that has the clip that goes onto your belt and here's a look at the front of the box and then we'll flip it over and take a look at the back of the box and next up we have the heavy hitter thumper this is the new item that I was talking about that uh, was the reason that I purchased uh, or made this purchase this time. Um, wanted something that I could keep, you know, either by the bed or in the car or on the truck or whatever. And uh, this seemed like it would do the job. It's made with the same polypropylene fill that's uh, used on most of their axes and, and things like that. And it's two pieces that are pressed together. Um, but it is well made. It's not heavy in your hand, but it's pretty sturdy and uh, will pack quite a wallop, I believe. And finally, um, aside from the usual packing materials, which has a uh, bell lading and a catalog, which this is a repeat of a catalog I already got in the mail. Uh, nothing wrong with that, but I already have it. Uh, I got the Kissing Crane. This was the steal of the day, and again, this is also what made me make the purchase of the time. Uh, Basically, they were five bucks, which normally they're ten dollars, so it was kind of like a buy one get one. But as a steal of the day, it was cool because I could get one for myself, and then the other one um, I'm going to be giving as a gift. And uh, you can see that it's uh, very well built. The handle is quite nicely made. It is sharp. Um, it does not lock, but it is quite uh, tight, so uh, I don't really see any problem with it, you know, closing on your hand or anything. Once again, this is uh, very, very sharp and uh, very well made. Uh, you can see here it cuts right through the paper. No problems, no hesitation. Super sharp right out of the box. No sharpening needed. So that about wraps up another Bud K unboxing. A smaller one this time, but had a few items that I wanted to pick up, um, fill up my collection, and uh, to get a gift. So. Thank you again for watching and I hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my other videos. And uh, I'm going to be posting some videos of some projects and things that I've been working on. Thanks again. See you soon.